hello everyone welcome back to next selenium tutorial so today we are going to see two important uh, xpath access methods that is preceding sibling following sibling let's understand what is sibling so in our family also we have brother sisters right so we are sharing the same parent right we will have all having the parent same, same parents right the same way if multiple elements having the same parent i or sharing the same parent those are called as sibling it should be in the same level right so what is preceding sibling then so selects all the siblings before the current node or context node if you're taking any current node right before to that whatever occurs those are preceding sibling whatever comes after that current node or context node that is following sibling right so the uh, syntax is very uh, basic so it is like starts with double forward slash and tag name so this is the attribute within square bracket we have to give and single or double forward slash you can give preceding sibling this is the export access name and double colon what is the tag name you want to select with right so and following sibling also the syntax is very pretty much similar to preceding sibling except the your export access name right let's understand uh, how it occurs in your uh, document html document so this is one of the uh, document right for a uh, zoho.com so over here if you take uh, these elements right all are comes in the same level right and it shares the same parent actually you can see this divisive parent under that we can see these six are coming as a direct children so these are all called siblings if you take this div it doesn't have any following sibling but it has preceding sibling you take this label it has all the following sibling but it doesn't have any preceding sibling but if you take any middle uh, siblings right like span it has two for preceding sibling two following sibling this input has one preceding sibling three following sibling the similar way each one will have its own preceding and following siblings so this is the very basic concept that we can understand using your sibling for the con current context node so let's say if you take this as a context node and it has preceding and following sibling let's understand let's write some xpath for this let's take class name and it is a current node sorry guys input this is the context node at the rate to use your attributes and just as within single quotes let's give it so this is the current or context node we can say currently pointing to so now i want to preceding sibling right what is that preceding sibling preceding hyphen sibling and double colon so if you want to find out how many preceding siblings are that just press asterisk it will it will it will give the number of preceding sibling it has only one preceding sibling right so if you want to point out that particular one just give label that's all so this will give your uh, preceding sibling right if you want to work with following sibling this is the following sibling just give following sibling but it doesn't have any label so that's why it is not giving anything and if you want to find out how many following siblings are there just give asterisk it will give right it will give three different following sibling it, it counts only the uh, same level elements though it has multiple children of this element it will not count that it only counts the same level so it only six are there in the same level if we take any element after and before that element it gives you that elements right so for this input element uh, just give a uh, span that's all so this gives the following sibling elements right so this is the concept of that following and uh, preceding sibling so it's very basic to understand but still it's very important to understand in xpath access methods right so that's all from this video guys if you like this video please give thumbs up to my video and if you have any doubts or clarification please leave it in the comment section thanks for watching guys